Hello, this is Azam Thatte again. I am the chief scientist at Energy Recovery. And in this science episode, uh, we are going to dive deep into the heart of transcritical rotary pressure exchanger and see how this pressure exchanger provides free compression in a CO2 refrigeration system, thus making it more energy efficient. What you are seeing on your screen is a fully coupled uh, 3D physics based uh, model of PXG, uh, describing the processes happening inside the PXG rotor. On the left side, we are showing the expansion process taking place uh, in one half of the rotor. And on the right, you are seeing a compression process taking place in the simultaneously in the other half of the rotor. If you focus your attention on the right half, what you are seeing is a low pressure CO2 gas uh, entering uh, the rotating duct of the pressure exchanger. Uh, that gas can be anywhere around say 550 PS, PSI if it's coming from the receiver, or it could be as low as 380 PSI if it's directly coming from the evaporator. That low pressure gas then gets sealed in the rotating duct uh, as the duct continues its rotation. And then uh, the duct eventually gets exposed to the high pressure port. As soon as the duct is exposed to the high pressure port, there is a compression wave or acoustic wave that sets in propagates back and forth uh, uh, inside the duct and compresses that low pressure flash gas into a high pressure supercritical CO2 to the same pressure as the gas cooler pressure. Now, where is it extracting this energy required for this compression? There is no external mechanical or electrical energy required for this compression. In fact, PX's pressure exchanger is achieving uh, this feat of free compression by using the expansion work recovery in the other half of the rotor, as seen on the left side of this animation. What you're seeing there is high pressure supercritical CO2, maybe at around 1500 PSI, uh, coming from the gas cooler exit, enters the rotating duct of the pressure exchanger. It eventually gets sealed up. And as that duct gets exposed to the low pressure port, there is an expansion wave that sets in and sort of isentropically expands that high pressure supercritical CO2 into low pressure two phase liquid gas mixture. It's not quite isentropic, but isentropic like, but it's definitely more efficient expansion than isenthalpic expansion that happens in a standard uh, isent uh, expansion wall, high pressure expansion wall. Now, as that supercritical CO2 expands to the low pressure, uh, it becomes cold as we know it, and it produces a liquid gas mixture in this case except that it produces more liquid after expansion uh, through pressure exchanger than it would have produced in a standard expansion through a high pressure valve and this compression and expansion processes take place uh, inside every duct of the pressure exchanger rotor more than thousand times a minute and using this expansion work recovery pressure exchanger is able to provide free compression for a portion of the flash gas coming from the receiver and compressing it all the way to the gas cooler pressure, thus in process reducing the energy consumption of the main compressor in a CO2 refrigeration system. So that's the magic happening inside the core heart of PXG pressure exchanger. Hopefully this video demystifies the CO2 refrigeration and energy recoveries pressure exchanger technology for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the future science episodes from Energy Recovery.